right, jabronis, we are finally back with another unboxing. And on top of that, it's finally 2022 AW Allure. I've probably had these pre-ordered for a year at least, and I am so excited to finally get these. Um, I don't know that I was paying a whole lot of attention, I guess, when I had the pre-order. I would have thought this would have been a full 16-pack hobby box. I guess they're treating it more like a high-end box, um, and there's only eight packs in here with, I believe, eight cards. Yeah, eight cards per pack. So hopefully it's not a 40-minute long video like they usually are, but you never know. It's a brand-new set. I'm probably going to take some time ogling over stuff. Uh, factory sealed, of course. We're here. And you'll have to excuse me. I've had a little bit of a uh, boys' night tonight. We're a couple beers in. So pardon me if I'm a little sloppier than usual. But should be a good night. Should be a good break. Hoping for the best. Not expecting the worst. Honestly, I think we're going to see some cool stuff. From what I've seen, the little bit I've seen broken so far from these, this is what Spectrum should have been. These are really fantastic looking cards from the little bit that I've seen. So I am very excited to rip these. And of course, I'm looking for Scorpio Sky, as always, fit the PC. But I think uh, I think I'll be pretty happy with all these, honestly. So there's the back or there, there's the box. Uh, there's little inserts in here to keep everything all nice and tidy. But you get eight packs. About half of what we're used to seeing in a hobby box from uh, Upper Deck. Although these these feel very substantial, I will say that these these feel like there's the cards are are premium stock, if I had to guess. Um, whatever that means for you. Uh, so preamble out of the way. Let's go ahead and just rip these things open because I am dying to get my hands on some of these. And. Uh, I've only seen, let's see, what, one or two unboxings. Um, I don't know that there's a specific pack that maybe contains the hits, you know, the way the other hobby boxes are. It's always like the last pack on the end. So um, let's just see what we get. Starting right out the gate with a Yuka Sakazaki, and I do not know why she is still part of these series. As much as I love the magical girl, this is a weird one to keep including but uh, as far as i know these are our base cards and they look really cool there's a lot of depth and dimension to them a lot of different textures the uh the shine is in i mean this is a mirror finish shine these are very cool to make sure i don't show any of my personal information uh behind me here while we're ripping these so there's yuka sakazaki we got ourselves a matt hardy and you know i was just saying in the comments the other day these this set was starting to feel a little more up to date and yet we still got Matt Hardy over here wearing the Truth is the Truth shirt. This seems like the same clothes that he's been wearing on every set of these cards since 2021. So, you know, maybe Matt Hardy needs to update his uh, attire here. Oh, all right. A little bit of a sneak preview there. As far as I know, this is a horizontal, uh, which should be a short print, I do believe. Uh, and it's looking good. It's looking a little messy over here on the side I don't know if that I do not believe that's part of the texture so but we'll, we'll keep our eyes open for other ones here to see what they look like see if that's um, something maybe we need to look at or if that's just the way they are and uh, you'll also have to pardon me first pack here I've got a little cheat sheet off to the side I'm trying to get the names memorized of everything here but you'll have to work with me here I'm not entirely uh up to date on what these are. As far as I know, this would be what I would think is a red rainbow card. Not numbered or anything like that. Looks cool though. Really liking the chrome on these cards. These things are shiny as hell. And that is a very good looking foil card, if I do say so myself. I mean, hard to beat Jamie Hader. So that's very cool. All right. And. <laughs> Uh, okay, vertically, I can actually, if I hold this card, Cotty Wampus, it is the exact same height as the other cards, but the way that it, these My Squad cards are cut 
is they almost kind of fall out of your hands while you're ripping these packs, similar to the um, the merch cards from the Metal series. I'm not super fond of that because the second I pull one of these, I feel like they fall in the corner and they're immediately dented or something like that. So um, it's looking solid to me. I, I am a fan of these interesting die cut cards with the the funky shapes, but I really don't like how they just fall out of the pack when you when you get to that card. So here we got a uh, Dustin Rhodes. It's Sting! And to my knowledge, Satnam Singh's rookie card. And that guy's huge. All right. Pack one out of the way. We got ourselves a red rainbow. I'm okay. I'm very happy with that, actually. That's um, that's a nice-looking card. Everything in here is looking nice. Um, tell you what, the... I'll have to look at these more. Um, I don't think this is anything special. Maybe it is. Maybe the the color's different. It's more blue than the base series. I know these are like an upper series and they're a little different. I, I can't imagine that that slight blue tinge is um, a parallel of any sort. But nonetheless, it's cool at least to see um, some variation. It's, it's, it's nice that everything doesn't look exactly the same. With, uh, within the base series, that is. All right. How could anyone forget Tony Nice? We got ourselves Isaiah Cassidy. Looking only like Isaiah Cassidy could. Oh, spoiled myself again there. We got ourselves Dax Harwood. And we looks like a horizontal again. Okay, so very similar to the Will Hobbs we just pulled. Powerhouse. Um, it's got that blue tinge to them. So as far as I know, that is just what the horizontals look like, which should be... I don't have that part of my list. I, I believe the base set is 1 through 100, and then we have the horizontals, which are 1 through 125. And then there are the Star Futures cards, which I think are 126 through 150. And here we are again, another red rainbow. And after I'm seeing another one, man, these are very slick looking cards. These are actually looking like, um, I don't know, it, 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 the the recent, uh, or I'm sorry, the past cards that have come out, I'm a big fan of, of course. I, I'm going to get all of them. But these are actually starting to look like some WWE or, or something like that. Like they're, they're, they're starting to actually look like something that... Uh, Put up a fair fight against some of those prism cards and whatnot that are out there. So, yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of how these are looking. And I saw that one coming, so I wanted to make sure I didn't didn't drop it. We got ourselves a title ambitions, Kanosuke Takeshita, another weird die cut card. And at first glance, I thought, well, this is cool. This got this little bump here, it's a little bump here, you put all these next to each other, they kind of fit together like a puzzle. I don't think that's the case with how I'm seeing the rest of the edge, though. And that's kind of an odd choice. I'm not sure why they... why they would make it like... This is some really, I will say this, um, very premium. This feels very good in hand. This feels like great cardstock. The text looks amazing. The gloss is there. I mean, it, it, these are, like I said, I think these are what Spectrum wishes it was because these feel like more high-end. We got ourselves a Mark Quinn to go with that Isaiah Cassidy. Hoping to see him back in the mix here soon. I, I don't know what his uh, injury was, but man, he's been gone for a long time. And we got ourselves a Press 10 Vance, and that's probably going to be the last we see of him in his Dark Order gear. Um, if these are is getting up to date as it looks like, he's wearing what looks like the Bane mask there, which I think was kind of his final look before he decided to unmask. Wow, you can actually see me in the reflection there. Look at that face reveal over here. These are really great. I I I know I'm over here gushing. I'm fanboying out a little bit over here. What do you expect? Pack three. So far, nothing numbered, um, but 
you know, I, I, like I said, I, I don't know the lay of the land yet with these things. So we'll get ourselves a couple more uh, boxes here soon, if I had to guess, because I'm already kind of uh, head over heels with these things. There we go. We got a Max Caster. Mustacheless Max Caster. Thank God. Oh, and we got ourselves a Danhausen. Okay. And there's that, that schmutz again. And I... Oh man. I'll tell you what. I guess I didn't realize it looking at all these other cards, but it's all there. It's, on the, it's the same pattern on every card. So I know we've had some issues with... Uh, some of the quality control in the past as far as some of the cards being kind of dirty and whatnot. Weird choice to make here to kind of almost intentionally make them look like that, especially when it's not all over. It's just in this corner down here and a little bit of like um, some like wear and tear up here. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera or not as well, but like it's very clean and clear. I'm not sure who decided to throw that little paint spatter there, but kind of an odd choice if you ask me. All right, we got ourselves horizontal Castagnoli. That should be over 100 there. I'm already spoiling the next card here. It looks like we got ourselves. That's what I thought. All right. If I had to take a random guess here, I believe this is the orange slice parallel of the base series. Uh, it's another die cut card. Um, having not seen the base 106 of this, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's the same image. But when I was looking at the uh, checklist, it looked like there was also some parallels that were like alternate images or something like that. I, I really, oh, there it is. Yeah, orange slice right there on the bottom. I really hope if the the alternate images, they don't use the same numbering convention because that's just going to get so confusing. And yet again, um, cool cut. I like the die cut cards. I, I'm, not, I'm never going to not be a fan of the just weird cuts. But why not make this edge or this edge match this edge or this edge? And you can put them all together almost like a puzzle piece. <sighs> Very cool, though. The foil on these is uh, is immaculate. We got ourselves another insert here. Ice cream for Tony Storm. And I was not sure how to feel about these cards when I saw them on the checklist initially. I know I keep harping on the weird cuts on these cards. This has got to be the weirdest cut card. This doesn't look like it has any sort of rhyme or reason to the, the cut. It almost just looks like somebody just decided to cut it as close as they could to the image and just didn't finish. I, I like weird inserts like this. I, I know they're not for everybody. Um... I don't know if I like this cut, though. This is just a very odd choice. Not a set that I would probably chase um, anytime soon. Uh, it's it's fine, but uh, I, I honestly, I, I expected to actually like these more than, I, than having just seen that in hand there. So we got ourselves Brian Danielson, Johnny Hungy over here, Mr. John Silver. And there's our base Hangman Adam Page. So I'm hoping we can find a horizontal Hangman Page and we can compare it to the horizontal uh, orange slice we got here and just kind of see if, if it's the same image and everything like that. I'm sure someone in the comments or in, the, in the, the Reddit could tell me if that's the case. I'm sure someone's pulled that card already. So if we don't see it tonight, I will put my ears to the ground and see what, uh, what I can dig up. And then for our next video, I'll try to help... Uh, confirm that a little bit more so here we are with buddy matthews nick jackson throwing up the old macho man we got ourselves nyla rose and man as much as i like nyla rose i don't even think about her anymore she gets no tv time as far as i know i'm aware of it's it's a bit sad despite the fact that she's a uh Previous AEW Women's World Champion. I don't, not sure what happened to her there, but she kind of fell off from TV at least. And okay, am I going crazy? Maybe I've seen someone else pull these already, and I've just seen this image. This looks like the exact same image from one of her cards from 
maybe Metal or 2022's flagship series. I know she wasn't really around a whole lot in 2023. Oh, man, I'm going to have to go find another card. This looks like a card I've already seen. That is very weird. Then we got our first color flow. This is, uh, as far as I know, I, I believe this is the most basic one you can find. This is a red-orange. Uh, let me look at my cheat sheet here. Yes, this is a red-orange color flow. This is the easiest one you're going to find. Not numbered or anything like that. But man, these look way better in hand than I anticipated just from the uh, promotional images that we saw on the checklist. I mean, the foil on these cards is great. The texture, the way it changes here, we get the lines and you got the dots and everything like these. I'm very impressed with these. These might be um, my favorite release from them so far. There we go. There's our first title fights. And I am happy as hell to have been a Kenny Omega and not... Uh, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but let's just say I'm happy that it's Kenny Omega. Great looking card. Although, man, I'm really not trying to be too critical about everything. I don't want to sound like an ass. The Kenny picture is a great um, image. I mean, it's 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 very clear. I mean, you can get as close as you want to this. You're not going to see pixelation or anything like that. That title belt, may, it might not come across very well in the in the video here. That looks like a JPEG that's been blown up like crazy. I mean, that is not looking good. I, I, this is probably the prettiest belt, in my opinion, in uh, professional wrestling today. This is not doing it justice. I mean, I can't even. I, I can bear. If I didn't know it said AEW on the side plates, I would have no idea what that said. I know they have to have a better picture for this. All right. Well. There we are, another red velvet. There's the base set. And we got ourselves one Angelo Parker. Man, these I cannot believe these dudes were rocking these uh Kuji hats. I completely forgot about the Kuji hat era. Alright, what was that? That's uh four packs in. We're alright, we're crossing the halfway mark here. There we go. We got ourselves a Ty Mello with the war paint. I think this look, for, she should have kept this look every time she was in the ring. The war paint look is awesome. And, and as far as I know, aside from maybe like Abaddon, I think she was the only female wrestler on the roster that was actually wearing uh, any sort of face paint. So, I mean, that really sets you apart. Got ourselves Orange Cassidy. Horizontal Hikaru Shida. You know, I really should. I guess I should show you guys the backs of these a little bit more since this is our first rip on these. You can really tell that blue color here on the back, but and again, I I, I don't want to keep repeating myself here. Uh, I don't know if it's coming across on the camera as well, but there are a lot of um, I don't know what you would call the manufacturing line. There's a lot of just markings on these cards for some reason you got big old streaks right across the middle like where it almost looks like material was joined together for them to create a bigger sheet to print these on not the first time we've seen it i'm sure it won't be the last time oh, bumping the camera here all right we got ourselves another color flow yet again just another base set uh this is just the red orange color flow for thunder rosa and i i cannot wait to collect a full set of these to get the full rainbow. These are going to look really good next to each other. Another My Squad for FTR. Strange die cut cards. And now, honestly, though, maybe I said it earlier, these actually look like... There we go. We have a second one here. These actually look like they kind of would fit together. I mean, in a way, I mean, they don't, uh, it's not a one for one, like puzzle fit or anything like, but you could line these all up if you really wanted to. It's not like the, what is this? The title ambitions were, I mean, that just would not make any sense. 
Here we go with Austin Gunn. Got ourselves a Riho and a base Sakaro Shida to finish off pack number five. On to pack six. And I'm starting to feel a little anxious here. I think we're about due for... Uh, there's got to be a hit in here somewhere. There's Pac. There's a Chris Jericho. And, man, I don't remember him wearing this jacket this much, but he every card he's had in the last year or two, he's wearing this jacket. Or at least, man, maybe it's just some variation. I just think they look the same, but... I can't recall a single time watching him wear that jacket. There's Wardlow. Got ourselves a horizontal Ana J with a Wow, I don't know who that is in the background. Unnamed jobber getting her first rookie card on the, the back side. <laughs> You're on an Anna J card? Alright. Oh, Okay, now I think this is special here. Um, oh, okay, and there's another one. Spoiler alert. So here's a horizontal. Very shiny. As you can see here, we got that uh, that foil effect there going crazy. Uh, not numbered. Any oh, wow, I love this. They tell you exactly what it is in the back here. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, see, so these don't actually say anything. So the, the base cards aren't going to say anything. From what I could tell from looking at a couple of these here, the parallels actually tell you exactly what they are, which very thankful for. There are people on eBay selling these cards that have absolutely no idea what they're talking about, what they're looking at, and they're trying to say it's one thing and it's another thing, and it's very frustrating. We're spelling it out for you at this point. If you get it wrong, something's wrong with you. So this is our first black rainbow horizontal parallel and I, I'm digging it I mean I don't know how much more I can uh, praise how much I'm liking these so far I know I said I wasn't a big fan of the ice cream cards we'll see maybe they'll grow on me here here's another color flow this time we've got a green blue color flow which is actually pretty high on the list I think of the color flows um, and if I had to guess this is I didn't write down the number on the from the checklist. I should have. I know I should have. This is going to be our numbered card right here. There we go. 253 of 299. Man, these are glossy. They definitely put some time and effort into these. There's Jim Ross. And again, maybe I'm crazy. But I swear to you, this is an image that they've already used on previous cards. If you're going to do that, let's just let's just not include them. I could be crazy. I could be talking out of my ass right now. Uh, I hope I am, honestly. But like this, this looks exactly like another card I've already seen for Jim Ross. And Anthony Agogo again. I, between him and Yuka Sakazaki, I don't know how they got in on these cards. I I've seen this guy in the ring maybe three times back when Cody was still with AEW. I mean, he's got a, a uh, what is this, the Fear Factory logo on here. I mean, they haven't been around at least six months, seven months. I mean, it's been a while. It's probably even been longer than that. I mean, I, it's so hard for me to keep track of this stuff. Glad he's there, but uh, I hope it's the last time we see some of these people in here because we are getting too many people that do not deserve cards in here. And there's so many people getting left out. And when you have a bloated roster as much as you do with AEW, it's, um, I mean, not everybody's going to be happy when their favorite wrestler doesn't get included, but nobody's favorite wrestler is Anthony Gogo. That being said, here's QT Marshall. To go with our Anthony Gogo. And of course, everyone's favorite AEW referee, Rick Knox. Got ourselves the horizontal sting. Okay. 
And I am going to be very surprised here, but I think we just pulled another black rainbow. We got the horizontal black rainbow, Darby Allen. And I believe we just got the base black rainbow for Darby Allen as well. Which, if I'm not mistaken, should be another $2.99. No, it is not. It is a black rainbow. Not a short print like the horizontals. But that is... What are the odds? We got Darby's, both of Darby's black rainbow cards. Already done. Check them off the list. And these are... I mean, I'm loving that. These look great. There's another color flow for us. And I, I'm a little surprised we got four color flows already. I, I thought it was like maybe three per box. Uh, and holy hell, I think this one's numbered even higher than our Anna J we just pulled. Ray Phoenix with the hammer. That was a fun storyline that was just going on. What are these, 199s, I want to say? There we go. 41 of 199. So there's two colored or uh, two numbered cards for us so far from the box. And uh, as much as I hate to admit it, I have to believe that those that that's our hit. Although, I mean, 199, that's not really a low numbered. Hey, let's get our hopes up, but let's not get devastated here. All right. There's Phil Brooks. Dante Martin, hope he gets well soon. And Jade Cargill. Can't wait to see what she does with her career. I really hope she... No hard feelings. You know, obviously, wrestlers go from company to company. So I'm very eager to see... Uh, I don't watch WWE. I keep up with uh, the comings and the goings a bit here and there. But I think she's going to have a good time over there. All right, last pack. I did not shovel these or anything when they came out of the box. So this is truly the last pack that would have been in the box. Um, if you started from the front and worked backwards. So let's see what we got here. Not a single Scorpio Sky card so far for the PC, but that's okay. I'm sure they'll be out there soon enough. Got ourselves a Luchasaurus. Still rocking the green mask and the green gear. That feels, starting, feels a little dated there, but we're, we're catching up. Got the blade. And we got ourselves a horizontal short print for John Moxley. There's Indiana's own Ruby Soho. Oh, what is this? This is a yellow-green color flow. Okay, so we got quite a few color flows in here. The Ray Phoenix should be the highest uh, with the lowest number, however you want to go about looking at that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm going to say, what was that? Was it $2.99, $1.99? I really don't know what. These might not be numbered at all, actually. Yeah, that's not numbered at all. Again, I really got to start just flipping these cards over and looking at the back. They tell you exactly what they are. So we got ourselves, I mean, if you couldn't tell by the colors. We got ourselves a yellow-green color flow for one Phil Brooks. And that is... Wow, I do not know what that is, but hey, guess what? All we got to do is flip it over here, if I can get a hold of it, and it's going to tell us. Holy shnikes, we pulled ourselves a white diamond. One of 50? I don't even have a white diamond on my list of cards available. I've got purple diamond from what the checklist told us. Um, okay. Well, what are we at? What are we number 77. So it's part of the base series. A little bit of schmutz here. Uh, okay. White diamond. One of 50 for Trent Beretta. Was not expecting to see that after the, uh, other numbered cards we got here. So, Hey, very much appreciated. I didn't even know this existed. I'm kind of curious what the, uh, purple diamonds look like. I'm sure they look like this, but they're slightly purple. If you can wrap your head around that. We got ourselves a Swerve Strickland. And to finish off the whole shebang here, we got ourselves Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. And again, 
cannot wait for this man to get back into the ring. I'm really hoping we see him sooner than later because um, I was really starting to get into his uh, his style there right before he got injured and hasn't been on TV for over a year. So, that being said, that's all eight packs from our 2022 Allure Hobby Box. Um, we're going to go ahead and give you a little pre or uh, another look at what we got here. We got ourselves yellow green, not numbered. We got ourselves a blue purple colorway or color flow, uh, one out of 199. We got ourselves a green blue color flow, which is one out of 299 there. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera while I'm doing this. I got to get better at this. Unexpected uh, card of the night here is going to be the white diamond. I don't know. Maybe I just missed it looking through the checklist. I'm sure it's maybe it's on there somewhere and I just didn't write it down. It's very possible. One of 50. I'll have to look back over that list there and see what the one of 50s are. Um, but that's very cool. We've got ourselves a couple of black rainbows here. Actually, we got two black rainbows and both of them Darby Allen. So anybody who collects a Darby Allen, let me know. And maybe we can work out a little, uh, a trade there. Uh, Oh, I'm also excluding the two other color flows we hear. Also two other unnumbered color flows for Thunder Rosa and Tony storm red to orange. We got ourselves an ice cream card for Tony storm. We got the, Orange Slice for one Hangman Adam Page. A couple of my squad cards. I didn't realize that, um, I guess, again, I didn't I didn't look over the checklist religiously. I thought that my squad cards were going to be for um, more than just two people, like FTR here. I thought it was going to be like actually like a, at least three, like House of Black is there. So uh, kind of interesting. I'm not sure... I guess I didn't realize that there was just going to be a couple people there. So I, I don't know. Something I didn't expect to see. All I'm saying. We got ourselves two red rainbows. One for Jamie Hayter and for Sammy Guevara. And those are looking great. I really love those cards. I think those look awesome. Got ourselves the title ambitions for Konosuke Takeshita. Ton of horizontals. Ton of horizontal SPs. I mean, for short prints, we sure did get ourselves a fair bit here. I mean, it must have been what I'm assuming it's one per pack. It would be my guess. So how much of a short print those really are, I don't know. Maybe that's also a mistake on the checklist. Ton of base cards. And we got ourselves the title fights for Kenny Omega with a very bad blown up JPEG of the AEW world title. That seems like a last minute addition to me. It's a beautiful card, but man, that is, it's a bit rough looking. I would, I'm, I'm very interested to get my hands on another one that has a different title on there and see if they all look like that, or if they just got a really bad render of this certain, certain, uh, title here. So all that being said, I am pretty happy with what we got here. Um, like I said, I pre-ordered these over a year ago. Um, at the time, the price for them was, oh, geez, I want to say $50, $50 to $60 more than what you can just buy a, a, a pack or a box for right now. Day of release, you could get them for about 95 I think they were a bit more than that. I had complained to the, uh, the place that I pre-ordered them from about how the price change, even though the cards hadn't been released yet, seemed a little unfair. I was told the... The market is always changing, and therefore they're trying to keep up with the market. It doesn't make sense to me when they're, again, they're not even on the market yet. I don't know how the price can change the retail price, that is. these. I mean, this is just what they were going for from a an actual seller. It wasn't, uh, you know, like eBay or some weirdo like that. So I will say, um, do not pre-order these. Just buy them when they come out. They're not going to run out. There's plenty of them out there. I've made the mistake multiple times now, and I've lost, you know, nothing I'm going to lose sleep over or anything like that. But monetarily, you know, the, the pre-orders, they are just not stable. The price does not maintain what they are. And, and especially when we have a whole year to wait for these to come out. I mean, who knows what happens over the course of a year. So great looking cards. I am very happy with the quality of these. 
the ice cream card's a little weird. And I did not expect myself to actually be upset with that card, but it's, it's, it's I don't know. It's not for me. Um, everything else though, quality wise, these are fantastic cards. I, I guess I wasn't, I wasn't looking at them too closely to make sure we didn't have any, you know, quarter bumps or dings or anything like that. I mean, I know we've had some issues, some issues with the quality control from upper deck for these AEW cards. These look fantastic. These, to me, are well worth the money, especially what they're going for right now. Um, eight packs per box. You know, maybe the price... I'm sure the price will come down a, little, a bit a bit more than where it's at right now. But quality-wise, these are, these are fantastic cards. So if you are on the fence uh, or you're thinking about picking up some cards, maybe you're, this is the first time you're getting into these things, I highly recommend starting off with these. These look fantastic. If you're a WWE collector, I think these have a very similar vibe to what a lot of the modern cards are starting to look like a bit. So it, it's nice to see them kind of catching up with the the com competition, I guess. Uh, so other than that, I guess maybe I came off a little jaded here. I think I... I'm, you know, I'm trying to praise these as much as I can here. There's some weird stuff. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is the first pack, first box we've opened, so it's it's a little bit of a learning curve here. But for the most part, I mean, these are some fantastic cards, and I cannot wait to get my hands on another box and bring it to you to rip. So that being said, jabronis, we're gonna get ourselves out of here before I make this video too long and ramble on any longer. I hope uh, everyone enjoys everything we've done so far and uh you know leave a like if you did feel free to subscribe and i'll check you jabronis out in the next video deuces